All right, we're going to get our blogs going today. So here, here we're going to start this. And uh, our, our, our assignment for next week is to basically get this thing up and running. We'll talk about how to do that. And then once we get this thing up and running, uh, after next week, every week you guys are going to be uh, updating your, web, uh, your website with some update. Okay? And then we're going to be using that throughout the rest of the year. So right now, who has a Facebook page? Show of hands. Like real show of hands, not the fake show of hands. Okay, so it looks like about 80% of you guys. How many people have an Instagram account? Okay, so a little bit less. How many people have, whatever, Twitter? Okay, even less. How many people have uh, LinkedIn? Okay, 60% mm, odd of you guys? Okay, great. How many people have your own website? One, sweet, sweet. So, you guys are super comfortable giving away all your information to these companies <laughs> that dictate how you look to the world. So I guarantee, whether it's legal or not, I guarantee every single employer is going to Google you. They will. They might say they don't, and they will. Um, for all the value, and there is value that our social media uh, connections can bring to us, I believe, we believe, that you guys should be in control of your digital identity, okay? You guys should dictate. When, when you're applying for a job and someone types in your name in, into some search engine or whatever, you should decide what they see, not some company, not some company that provides the data the way the company wants to give to other people, but you, you should. So one of the first ways to do this is to establish your own presence on the web that is your presence, that you control everything. You decide what images are there, you decide what information is there. That's claiming your digital identity. So that, this is our first step. So we're gonna use a tool here called WordPress, which is a blogging site and the software runs something like 60, 70% of the world's blogs. Um, but the point is, we're gonna use this service. You can use other services, there's other ways to do it. We're gonna use this, uh, this tool. We, are, we mediate this tool through a thing called CI Keys here on campus. When you graduate, you can choose to keep this going. You do not have to, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna grade you after you leave this class and everything, but, but um, it's totally fine if you guys don't want to continue this, but many of you guys actually over the last couple of years do continue it on, and I would strongly encourage you guys to think about that. This first step is gonna be um, a little bit different. Everything we're doing here is free for you. So everything you're doing uh, that we'll be doing or, or the, the things you'll start playing with over the next couple weeks or what have you, uh, you need not pay any money for this. Once you grab, and you'll see this in a second, when we first log on, this is the thing you cannot change. So that's gonna be your initial domain name. It's gonna be whatever you wanna type in, .cikeys.com. That's gonna be your website to start with. If you guys look at my pay, well, for example, here's one I just made for our, our coastal management class. So this is my website. So this website is running on CI Keys, the same exact thing that you guys, that we're gonna start for, with you guys right now. But if you look, it doesn't say CI Keys. It says piratelab.org, right? So what I've done is I've purchased that domain name and uh, now, it, you can't tell that it's on cikeys.com. All you guys know, all the public knows, all anybody knows is that it's piratelab.org. So I've essentially paid for this with a service provider that, that controls addresses on the internet, and it's cool. Right now, it's living at CI Keys. Maybe I'm gonna quit CSUCI tomorrow, which I won't, but if I do, and I go somewhere and I want to host my data on another server, pfft, no problem, do that. Maybe I have to pay those guys a little bit of money, do that, and then I just go back to my, the folks that are holding my domain name and I say, hey, you guys, you guys, when people type in P-I-R-A-T-E 
L-A-B-E dot O-R-G. Instead of sending them to this other site, send them to this new site. So nobody ever knows it's different. So when you eventually make your business cards, you do all this and that, uh, you just have one name. So you can choose to do that if you want. That's not a requirement. We'll do that later in the year if you guys want to pick a permanent name. Again, you don't have to do that, but, but if you do start liking this, this digital identity tool, just realize you can keep it going after you graduate, okay? All right, one last thing. Oh, there's a video of me, I don't wanna see that. Okay, so one last thing to say, let's just, let's just give a quick conceptual understanding of what we're doing here. What, what CI Keys is, what, what this tool is, is space on a server space on a computer somewhere, okay? And all we're gonna do is go to this space that schools paid for you that we, we have, and we're gonna throw some computer code on that makes it look pretty. So you need not know how to do programming, you need not know how to do hypertext coding or anything like that. So we're doing it a really simple way, okay? More on that in a second. The very first step, so don't do anything yet, very first step, is I want you guys to go to cikeys.com and I, don't do it yet, but click get started. So that very first time, it's gonna say, okay, who are you? And you have to set up an account. So that account you set up is gonna be how you are going to look to the world, at least for the initial part of this. So this is a professional tool you're making. So you can choose, you can use whatever name you wanna do, but it should be professional. So for example, I could make it Sean dot ci keys dot com. I could make it Anderson dot ci keys dot com. I can make it Sean Anderson dot ci keys dot com. As long as somebody else hasn't before us hasn't established a Sean dot ci keys dot com, uh, it's good. It's all good. And if you try that, if somebody has your exact name the way you've written it, it'll give you a warning and say, hey, you know, re retry another one. So it's no stress. But just realize once you type this in, you cannot change this. So I, I strongly discourage you from being uh, purple unicorn butterfly 77, <laughs> right? That's maybe not the most professional way to portray yourself to a potential employer or graduate school or whatever it is, okay? So we'll take five minutes here, we'll pause. I want you guys to think of what you, you want to be your first name, your first and last name, you're just your last name, whatever. Sometimes some, some folks have hard to, Hard to remember last names or crazy spellings. Maybe you want to make it simple. It's, it's up to you guys. 